Uh, of course, uh, many of these activities by the rebel groups, this, particularly the Islamic ones, are emanating from Wahhabi beliefs that all these ruins should be destroyed. And we've seen many videos uh, doing that purposefully. And they believe that they are just uh, purging or purging Syria from uh, eith, uh, heathen beliefs. Also, I mean, in Saudi Arabia, there are so many edicts, edicts uh, passed by clerics uh, blessing the, such activities. The mosques around Mecca, which are Umayyad and Abbasids, have been destroyed by the authorities themselves. What are you doing to address the issue on a, an ideological and belief level with the Saudi authorities who are mainly responsible for what happens in Mali or in Syria, given that they passed such edicts? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not sure that uh, we can say that the Saudi authority are responsible for distraction directly. I mean, not, no, not, the, certainly the, not as government. The, I mean, the that's ideology in Saudi Arabia. Ideology, that's ideology, but you know, well, go they are government and by the government. Government and ideology are, are, are different things. But you're right. In fact, uh, the Wahhabi belief has uh, supported uh, many of these uh, Salafist uh, activities. Um, the worst case was uh, Timbuktu, of course, uh, in Mali, where the Salafists destroyed the mausoleums, not the mosques. The mosques were relatively... Uh, uh, went through this occupation relatively well. But the mausoleums, which on our view... and they were also part of the, we have 16 mausoleums that were part of the World Heritage uh, nomination and, and were protected by UNESCO. These mausoleums, because they are against you know, the view of the Salafists, which of course uh, don't accept any mediation between man and God, therefore the mausoleum of a saint is <laughs> exactly, is, is pure heresy. You know? So they were actually destroying the mausoleums for this reason. And many mosques, uh, not really in terms of destruction of, uh, I think it was most of the decorative part that is uh, targeted, uh, not the building itself, but the decorative part of the building. And because, uh, uh, yeah, well, Mecca, Mecca is another, another story, and uh, <laughs> really a difficult one to address because uh, everything has been destroyed there. There's nothing left of what uh, uh, Mecca used to be, and uh, it looks more like a, you know, a kind of a, you know, a, a, a resort <laughs> today with these big buildings. But it is true that uh, you know this um, ideology uh, leads the groups that perhaps, of course, have no no direct, uh, uh, say, uh, no, not a high level of culture <laughs> cultural training um, to destroy destroy uh, elements that are very important for the local communities and very important for you know global heritage considerations uh, because they are against uh, their ideology. So that happens. Now, um, I, you are asking whether the Saudi Arabian government, I, I don't think the Saudi Arabian government has, has a direct role in these distractions. I mean, this is, you know, these are... Uh, groups that operate according to an ideology, but uh, we have to make a difference between a government and, and, uh, and ideological forces. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> we will have to, to uh, you know, uh, that will be complicated. Of course, the Saudi government can stop financing such clerics who pass such edicts yes. to destroy uh, the heritage. This is a very. Yeah, I know. It's, it's very indirect. Belongs I mean, to all is, the humanity. humanity. Is, of course, the, the Saudi government supports uh, supports uh, as being the, the the land of uh, Islam. I mean, supports uh, heavily the clerics, and, and they have their own views. Um, but but we, we have to address those who are respons directly responsible for uh, for the things. And by the way, just for your information, there is a new and important uh, dimension that. Uh, came out of uh, the destruction of the Timbuktu um, mausoleums, the International Criminal Court has opened a pros uh, prosecution for, uh, for this destruction. Um, we are witnesses of, of this, of this uh, investigation. That means they sent uh, you know, their attorneys to Timbuktu to, to jointly with the mission uh, to look at the situation. And they are um, now uh, indicting the res people that are responsible for the destruction. Of course, the people responsible for the destruction are probably lost in somewhere in the desert <laughs> in Sahara. So, uh, but the moment this trial will be done, and p perhaps people will be sentenced. I think it will be a very important moment because it, it is a, a big message in terms of, you know, uh, of the orientation of the international communities and the tools that we have uh, we have available for the protection of heritage. It will be a premiere. Yes. A short while ago, the UNESCO was here speaking about uh, the the necessity that the humanitarian 
help in Syria should include also the ruins and the uh, heritage, the cultural heritage of Syria. Uh, does the Secretary General subscribe to that opinion? Well, certainly uh, we agree with uh, the UN Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization that cultural heritage needs to be preserved, and we've encouraged all uh, all member states to do what they can to ensure that all the cultural heritage sites are preserved in the way that UNESCO has has stated. Is there a position, any position regarding those who incite the destruction of such heritage? Does the United Nations intend to do something about that? Well, we're, we are against any efforts to destroy cultural heritage sites, of course, and, and we do, and when there's su such sites have been damaged or destroyed, uh, we basically through the UN Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization work to uh, try and get those sites restored. But in, of course, in Syria, the larger problem is not just that the cultural heritage sites are, are being damaged and destroyed, but the country as a whole. We're trying to get the war as a whole to end so that the country is not destroyed. My question is specifically regarding those who incite the destruction of ruins. And we, you know who I'm talking about. Those who really, the Salafi groups, the Wahhabi groups, who really issue edicts encouraging such decide. What's the position of the United Nations regarding them? Like I said, we are against efforts to destroy any cultural heritage sites. Uh, I, I wouldn't uh, comment on, on uh, your, uh, your characterization of this, which is uh, a little one-sided. Of, of course, we want all sides not to attack such sites.